Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Ho, freaking ho. You like my little get up here? I got these uh, Santa gloves, the Santa hat, and my little Santa earrings on. Today's video, I figured I would do something different, is going to be called the Anti Haul. Stuff I am not going to buy this holiday season. That's why I'm all dressed up like this because you know, holiday. So, this year they have come out with a lot of new holiday stuff, sets, things, whatever, from Ulta, Sephora, anywhere. And I just wanted to tell you guys some of the things that I do not want to buy. And I will tell you the reasons as we go along. So, I heard about this from Kimberly Clark. I saw her videos and I think this is an amazing idea to save people money. Um, if and you need to go check out her channel she is awesome so yeah I'm just gonna get started a lot of people have been doing this I really do think it's a great idea so people don't go out and waste their money on products that pretty much all these products that I'm gonna be talking about um, a, a lot of the stuff is like the same as last year's or the year before or whatever we'll get into that as we go along first let's talk about Too Faced okay I have to take this these freaking gloves off. They're annoying the shit out of me right now. They're cute though, aren't they? Look at they got a little... Yeah, anyway. Let's talk about Too Faced because they got a lot of freaking shit going on right now, okay? First, let's talk about their... Now, I'm not going to show pictures like everybody and their mother does. I don't want to do that. I don't edit my videos and... I just, I don't feel like doing that. I don't have the patience to do that. So, the Too Faced Christmas in New York holiday collection. Okay, now, they had something similar last year, and I swear, it's the exact same thing, because I went and swatched it at Ulta, and it's pretty much all the colors are in, like, every other Too Faced eyeshadow palette, like the chocolate bar. If you... You can just buy that without having to spend all the money on this this set. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. All these people are talking about how amazing it is. Yada, yada, yada. Now, the only reason why they're saying that is because they were told to, or it's a sponsored video, or all the people that got flown to Bora Bora to talk about all these new Too Faced products, all of them are lying. They're sponsored. They are, are told to say that. So... Okay, anyway, Too Faced Grand Hotel Cafes, $49. That's just, I mean, I'm sure you guys know what it looks like, but this is them right here. I'm just looking at an Ulta magazine. You can get this at Ulta, Sephora, Too Faced.com. Um, so the Grand Hotel Cafe is $49. Now, it's the, whole, the same concept, too, as last year. You open up the little thingy, and it's just, it's the same thing. And it's kind of, it's just ridiculous. The shades are boring. Not boring, but they're in, like, every palette. Like, you can find these shades in so many palettes. So I just don't think you should waste your money on this. And I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. I love Too Faced, but I'm not going to buy that, okay? And the other thing I'm not going to buy is the Mary Macaroon set, which is $39. And, what does it say? Includes three scented palettes plus a deluxe better than sex mascara. First of all, I don't like that mascara. I had a big problem with that, a big issue with that mascara, so I don't care. And it said, vanilla, scent, vanilla scented palette plus a deluxe better than sex mascara. They all come with deluxe better than sex mascaras, which I really don't care for. Vanilla scented too Faced always has these scented friggin' palettes, but to be honest with you, <laughs> the only one I like is the chocolate chocolate bar. It smells like chocolate, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to buy that. None of that holiday shit. Hang on a second. My cat's over here friggin'. All right, go. All right, so that's the first thing from Too Faced. Cross that shit off the list. I'm not going to buy it. It's a waste of money. I'm sorry. I keep getting out of focus here. So, yeah. The next Too Faced item I want to talk about is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is what I was talking about. The people that got flown to Bora Bora, or all them supposedly big shot YouTubers, got flown to Bora Bora and made a whole friggin', I don't know, I guess they made a commercial or something about it. Anyway, 
So that retails for $45. And to me, to be honest, I do not want a palette that smells like peach. I don't like peach to begin with. And the palette itself doesn't even have peach colors in it. You know what I mean? Maybe just a couple, but if you're going to make a palette and call it a sweet peach palette, you should at least have those kind of shades in it. So, uh-uh, Mama ain't buying that. No. So let me cross that off my list. So I'm not buying that. And I don't think you guys, should, a lot of people already have it, but they're bringing it back and they're bringing like a whole other new collection to like the highlight and bronzer and contour thing. I might get that. Don't know yet. We shall see. Um, let me see what else by Too Faced. So yeah, I'm not going to buy that uh, Sweet Peach palette. Oh, the Too Faced... white chocolate chip and the new chocolate chip limited edition palettes that are $26 each. To be honest, I saw like what they look like and they look so freaking boring. I saw videos of them. Not, I'm not going to believe those people, but just by looking at it, it just looks boring. It just doesn't look like, I mean, I know it's only $26, but the palettes are so small and I, I mean, Sounds cool, but I'm not going to waste my money on that shit, so I will not be buying that. Plus, they're limited edition, so no, I'm not going to buy that. Also, what else? Let's see. I think that's it by Too Faced. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The Tardiest Pro Amazonian Clay Palette for $53. Now, I went to Ulta and swatched it. It is just... I don't know. It's just... All these palettes that they're coming out with, it just seems like you can get all these colors in so many palettes. You probably already have all these colors in so many palettes that you own, you know what I mean? And it's freaking $53. It just, I am not buying it. It does not look appealing to me. Plus, I have a lot of palettes that have those colors in it, so no. Uh, the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. Let me talk about that. I was at Sephora the other day, and I swatched it. I was going to buy it. I had it in my freaking hand. I swatched it. It looked really nice. But then I was like, what is the point of this? They're all shimmery, like, weird-looking colors. And I'm like, first of all, it's $49. And I was just like, you know what? No. I, I, I don't want that. I'm not going to spend my money on that palette. When I do have other colors like that, it's just, it was, it was ridiculous. The colors were pretty, but I just, I, no. Mama ain't going to buy that. And also from Urban Decay, the Full Spectrum Palette, which is retails for $55. Honestly, there's palettes that you could buy that are so much cheaper that, I don't know, this, but this palette, it does, I, to be honest, it looks really, really, really nice, but the colors are just, it reminds me of like their Vice palettes, you know what I mean? So Mama ain't going to buy that, I don't know, I just, I don't like it, I don't like I just, I have palettes that have colors like that in it, so I'm not going to waste my money on that shit. The Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadow Palette Rose Gold Edition, $65 fucking dollars for that damn palette. To be honest, it looks just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Just go get that. You don't have to spend $65. Mama ain't buying that. Everybody and their mother is talking about these products. The Kylie Jenner shit. Anything made by her? No. Okay. First of all, I do not like the Kardashians or any of them. These, these are my opinions. I don't like any of them. I know everybody and their mother loves them, but I do not want nothing made by them. And I just don't like Kylie Jenner. And her lip kits and her eyeshadows are so freaking expensive. And a lot of people get that shit sent to them for free, which is bullshit. To be honest with you, I don't think... I mean, I understand PR and all that kind of stuff, but Jesus, these a lot of these people are getting sent, like, everything. And then us, we have to go out with our hard-earned money to go and purchase it while they're getting it, everything for fucking free and reviewing it, saying, oh, it's so amazing, go out and buy it, you need to buy it. No, you don't need to buy it just because Manny MUA or Jacqueline Hill tells you to go and fucking buy it. You don't need to go and buy it. They are sponsored. They are told to say that. You don't need to go and buy it just because they say to go and buy it. Okay? Okay? Okay, good. Another thing, and I do not really buy makeup that is made by YouTubers. I don't. I do not want to be associated with that. I don't like doing that stuff, and I will never, ever do that. 
I bought a Becca, like, Jaclyn Hill champagne splits thing, but I gave one to Louise, and the other one I returned because I just, I don't want to buy products made by other beauty, beauty people. I just don't want to do that. So, the Kathleen Lights Morphe Palette. No. First of all, these are my opinions, okay? I don't really like Kathleen Lights. I think she is money hungry, just like a lot of them are. Um, and the palette itself just doesn't look appealing to me. I don't, I just don't like it, so I'm not going to waste my money on that shit. All right, another thing. The Tardius Pro Glow Contour and Highlight Palette, which retails for $45. Let me see if I can find that in here. Where was that? I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty. There it is right there. But seriously, I have so many friggin' highlight and contour palettes that look just like this. I'm not going to waste my money on that shit. Mm -mm, honey. So, yeah. Oh, there's the Tardius Pro eyeshadow palette. Look at that thing. It just looks so freaking blah. Oh, shit. No. Sorry. So, yeah, I'm not going to buy that. And for $45, mm-mm. Next, the Lorac Pro Conceal Cream Contour Palette, which is $45. I like the Lorac Pro Contour Palette itself, but the cream one, I'm just not into cream highlighting, prop, you know, like contour and all that kind of stuff, so I will not be purchasing that. Uh, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light Palette, whatever the fuck it's called, for $80. Oh my god, no, mama ain't gonna buy that. I, I like hourglass ambient lighting powders, but they're freaking $45 a pop, and I only have like two, but I don't know, $80 for a freaking palette, and they're, what are they, like setting powders? No, just get a freaking regular setting powder, why should you have to spend $80 for colors that are probably just going to all look the same? Actually, they do. I did swatch it at Sephora. They do all look the freaking same. I mean, some of them look a little different, but come on. Really? It's just ridiculous. Another thing, the Stila Starlight Star Bright Highlighting Palette for $39. Don't get me wrong, I love highlighting palettes, but this one just does not look appealing. I'm not going to waste my money on it. Um, next, Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Trio for $36. Now, that looks, it just looks horrible. I had a Naked Illuminator, I forget which one, you know, in the box. I forget which one it was called. And it was so freaking glittery and shimmery, I freaking returned it right away. I could not stand it. I did not like it. Uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, $38. Not going to waste my money on that. Everybody and their mother talks about that. Um, some new NARS things like new NARS liquid, li liquid matte velvet lipsticks they came out with. Um, Kat Von D and Too Faced are doing a collection together. Not going to waste my money on that. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just stuff that I will not be buying. And if I do buy it, somebody better come through the freaking screen and slap me in the face. Because I've made a list to make sure I do not buy these products. And I won't. I will not. I will not do it, okay? <laughs> Next, I'm probably going to do a products I regret buying video. Let me know if you guys do want to see that. And let me know if you want to see more of these anti-haul videos. Because I, and you have to go watch Kimberly Clark. Because, oh my god. Her videos are amazing. I love them, love them, love them, love them. I, I've been binge watching it since I've discovered it. So, And I just think this is a great idea for people to see what other people don't want to buy. A lot of people are talking about a lot of this stuff that I'm talking about, but it's it's true. All this shit is like so boring, the same shit over and over again every holiday season. And, they, and all these other like big, supposedly big YouTubers try to get you to buy the shit by saying that it's good, when in reality, they know it sucks. They're just, they're sponsored to tell you that it's good, so you go out and fucking spend the money on it. Why would you do that to, to your subscribers that have gotten you to where you are? I would never fucking do that to somebody. I would never tell them to go out and buy something if I didn't think it was worth it. No, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching my anti-haul holiday edition video. 
products I am not going to be buying this holiday season or probably ever. Uh, I shouldn't say ever because maybe in the near future, but for a long time, I ain't going to be buying those products. Let me know if you want to see more of these. And yeah, I will list all the products down below. And hopefully you guys will do a video like this if you like it. It's interesting. And I think you guys should watch some of these if you haven't already because they're some of them are so funny. It's just, it's amazing. I don't know. It's interesting to see what other people don't want to buy and don't. And if they do buy it, like you, if you're subscribed to that person and you continue to watch them, they say they're not going to buy that stuff, but then they end up buying it. So, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you all later.